Fair warning to anyone who wants to watch our friend in the next couple days, bring a box of tissues because this one is a depressing one. Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and on this channel, it's my job to point you in the direction of movies worth checking out. So that interests you, make sure you hit like and subscribe, it would really mean the world to me, and it's the best way to show your support for the channel. And while you're at it, go check out my partners at Movie Scene Canada. But today I'm here to tell you whether or not our friend is worth the watch. So, this is one of those movies, and I've talked about movies like this before, where you say, oh, how was our friend? And you go, oh, it was good. And they say, oh, how was the acting? It was good. How's the directing? It was good. How's the writing? It was good. I don't know why I'm shouting. <laughs> I wouldn't shout at the people who asked me about the movie, but like my point is you go down the filmmaking process and you just put good next to it. Cinematography, sound design, story, editing, whatever the case may be, this is a competently made movie. And the category I'd put this in, you know, obviously it is a true story, but I'd put this as a slice of life movie because you have Casey Affleck, Dakota Johnson, and Jason Segel, and they're so natural. And I've talked about this in my Pieces of Woman review. The natural acting, it feels almost like you're watching a like 90s home video. Not so much in this movie because it does jump around from, you know, different time periods, but it just feels so natural and the characters feel so real and because of that you get connected to the characters more easily that way. And Jason Segel, the guy hasn't missed a beat. I find that guy just so funny in every single role that he's in and while this is a depressing movie and he's not trying to crack up jokes for the audience, like he's not trying to play it up, you know, he is just a funny guy and he doesn't even need to try that hard that I chuckled many times in this movie and like most slice of life movies, you can also put the label the hangout movie and with hangout movies, you don't always want to hang out with everyone at the same time for the whole time, right? When Dakota Johnson is talking with her friends and she has her own little story, I can't really get engaged in it because I don't really relate to it. So with the slice of life slash hangout movie approach, it's not really that engaging. But when Casey Affleck and Jason Segel are talking about, you know, their lives and their friends, you know, I can easily relate to it because I have best friends and I talk about life with them. You know, I have guy friends, I have girlfriends too, but it's not the same kind of dynamic that's very engaging for me. So again, it just depends on who you are. And with that hangout movie mentality, it can kind of alienate the audience sometimes. It's a hard concept for me to put into words, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. And because of that, there were a couple points in this movie where I was like, all right, I, I get the point of this movie. You know, Dakota Johnson's character, it's in the trailer, you know, she's dying of cancer. And you just see how this family or this couple is dealing with it and how they have a best friend along for the ride and how he's always so supportive. He's also putting his life on hold, his relationships on hold, his job on hold because he is just so there for his friends. And, you know, it doesn't do the... Uh, Oh, if you be a nice guy, you'll end up in the friend zone, people any favors, because obviously it was a terrible situation that was going on, and this is a true story, and I, you know, feel sympathy for the people who had to go through this stuff, but, you know, it shows that being a friend, you really don't get anything in return, right? Like, you be a friend to people because you just want to help them without anything in return, and that's a very wonderful virtue, but then again, you're putting your own life on the back burner, which can be quite depressing, it can be a struggle, and the movie tackles that subject matter really well. But I will admit that it wasn't engaging throughout the entire thing. You know, I wanted to check my phone, I wanted to go outside, I wanted to do something else, I was waiting for the movie to be over, and that's not a very good sign. And again, it might be the subject matter, it might just be how engaging each section was, the movie was told out of order, kind of like if you guys have seen the, the Last Dance, right? The ESPN documentary about Michael Jordan, how you have the final season being told in one order, but then it keeps intercutting with kind of like the buildup. So you have the main story and the buildup happening at the exact same time. But I don't know if that method of storytelling and that method of structuring a movie really works or really adds anything to this story. I think the movie would have worked if you just told it you know, as a straight narrative. But then again, you have different beats and I'm not the screenwriter, I'm not telling you guys, you know, if I wrote this movie, it would be better. But I don't know how that method of storytelling really served its purpose in this movie. And like I said in the beginning, it is about a family dealing with cancer. And that is always depressing. You know, I've had family members die of cancer. It's not a fun experience. And I, you know, feel sympathy for anyone who has to go through that. And, you know, watching a movie about it, it sucks. But 
these characters are rounded and they feel real that, you know, it's been a couple days since I've seen the movie and I'm still thinking about it. So that has to count for something. So all in all, I'm going to give this movie a three out of five because I did like it. I liked many parts of this movie. Not all of it was engaging. I did get quite bored in some parts, but maybe that was just the way that the movie was told. And it's been a couple days and the movie sticks with you. And it's not a very fun movie to watch, even though there were funny parts because, you know, it is dealing with a bad or a traumatizing subject matter like cancer. And that's never fun for anybody. So know that going in and know that it's a slice of life that, you know, feels real, but it is about a dark subject matter. So anyways, guys, what movie do you recommend watching that deals with a dark subject matter? but you enjoy watching it anyways. Whatever the case may be, let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you're new here and you wanna see more videos just like this one, then definitely hit like and subscribe. Again, it's the best way to show your support for the channel and I'd really, really appreciate it. We got a great community here. I'd love for you guys to join and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.